Hey, what's going on guys? It's Serge here and today I am bringing you my first tutorial on my channel and as you would have read in the title and why you're watching this obviously is how to make your desktop look and like amazing, awesome, amazing, amazing, awesome like this um, yeah, using Rainmeter. So Rainmeter is a program I'll show you where you can have all different types of things like this you can have your mini steam which is what I've got over here um, what are some other ones I've got there the default illustrate I've got downloaded Grand Theft Auto ones so it's like Grand Theft Auto it's got the actual time and weather and stuff I'm not really sure what the money is but I don't use that I use these ones so it is get it back wisp and it has like the recycle bin, CPU, RAM, time, to, that's GPU. Um, this one up here is also a Wisp one. I'm not really sure. I just wanted something at the top. So that's just got like all these different things that you can open. And then it's got the time and date up here. And then this is like a mini Steam opener quick start thing. And then I've just got an Apple as my background. I don't know why. Just because it suited all this stuff. Um, yeah, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do this. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go onto your web browser and then type in rain meter. That's not how you spell it obviously, it's like this. Right, and then you click on the top one, you download the beta because the final release it like crashes and stuff and it's not really fully fixed yet so the beta is the one to go for so you download it it downloads I've already downloaded it so I'm going to cancel it and then you get out of it go to your documents whatnot open it run the where is it um rain meter next and then you go through all the installation process and then it'll come up with this and you should just have the Illustro so then if you want to get like all this other stuff by the way the links to the ones that I've got will be in the description like the how I've got it but the website that I usually go to for um, oh my god why do I spell it like that for skins they're called skins is not this one um, it is Deviant, Deviant Art, Deviant Art, oh, oops, and yeah, so you go through here, you find what you want, um, yeah, and then you download them, and then I'll show you how to install them. I've just gonna, for this, um, tutorial, I'm gonna download this HUD now playing, it's just like a music one, so I download it and you wait for it to download and now if I show it in the folder drag it onto my screen over there bring it back onto here oh yeah so when so what you do for this is usually when you download the rain meter skins it will come up with this green raindrop but if it doesn't like and it comes up in a zipped file then what you need to do is you need to actually go into your documents and then find rain meter and go into skins and drag it into here but for the sake of this we have downloaded one that comes as the rain meter file so you just double press double click on it and then you just install it it all just like refresh itself and now you can just move that away get back into rain meter and here it is, HUD now playing. So they usually come with a few different things. That one didn't work. Yeah, here we go. So if you just grab it in the right spot, yeah. Right, so there we have it. So 
if I don't actually have any music on my computer. So anyways, yeah, so that's what you do. That's how to get stuff from Rain Meter. You can play around with it and, you know, go on to Div Divine Art or, like, you know, go on to any of these other websites that have Rain Meter skins, like Rain Meter Hub, for example, and just, like, go through, find the ones you like, and then, yeah, you get to enjoy your cool new desktop apart from just the boring old icons over here and everything else so yeah um thing so i just like to thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like if you liked it disliked it if you disliked it and subscribe if you're new and you like my content so thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time bye